it might be the most inconsistent series on the planet. It may be the slowest football manager save that you've ever seen. But we're back again. And this is an episode which is very, very, very juicy. I would say it's been worth the wait. Well, I certainly hope it'll be worth the wait because we need to see what happens with the results today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Andrew 118 and we are near the end of the Premiership season. We still have a couple of Derby games left to play. In fact, we have three Derby games left to play because of the Scottish Cup, but we'll get into that very shortly. Today, we're going to be starting with the game against Rangers at Celtic Park. We have obviously been quite poor against Rangers so far this season and we'll come to that in a moment so we really need to invoke some revenge on them today but we'll look seven points clear if we win today if we beat rangers we go 10 clear with six games to play it would be over i think we could declare ourselves champions if we managed to beat rangers uh this afternoon but before that we left off obviously last time with braga that's where we left off we headed through to the quarterfinals of the europa league and since then uh, it's not been great it's not been great. So we dropped points at home to to Hibs. Um, we were poor. But then, you know, we managed to get a win, which was good. Jack Amaka scored a hat-trick, in fact, up at Dingwall in a 3-1 win against Ross County. But we lost to Kilmarnock. Yes, we lost to Kelly. Jack Amaka is on form, by the way. Just to... just to, He scored four in two games. But, yeah, we lost to Kelly. And we were very, very poor in the loss as well so obviously it means the league table is looking a little bit like this we're now into four losses for the season one of them being against rangers we've lost to ibrox twice this season once in the league cup and then of course once in the league as you can see here the one now um we need to make up for what has been a, a kind of poor month in form uh, and I think from now on, we need to really find a consistency in our team. Um, the team's kind of been all over the place as of the last few games. I'm going to actually clear the whole selection ahead of the Rangers game. But we really need to start picking up a bit of form towards this point of the season. Because look at the run-in that we've got here. This is why I'm saying it's going to be very tasty. It's going to be very juicy. It's going to be very exciting. Today's episode, we take on Rangers where we can basically secure the league title. Uh, and then we've got a quarter-final first leg tie at home against Ren in the Europa League. Ren, who knocked Rangers out of the competition, by the way. Pretty sure. Pretty sure they did, didn't they? Didn't they? Did Ren knock them out? I'm pretty sure they did. Did they? Yes, they did. I, I thought they did on penalties, in fact. Uh, so we've got Ren in the quarterfinal first leg, and then the next episode will be the Scottish Cup semi final against Rangers, and then the away leg against Ren. So it's Rangers, Ren, Rangers, Ren. Great. No major news squad wise, as we all know, Juranovic is out for what looks to be the rest of the season at this rate, so we're kind of working with very limited cover in the right back position, but that shouldn't affect us today. Alistair Johnson should be good to go, and um, we just need to obviously protect him for that game against Ren, or those, those games against Ren, I should say, but we want to win today. Let's get our team selected, and let's get into that. Right, this is the team for today then. This is the one I've went with. Callum McGregor finally returns from injury and we're throwing him right in the deep end. Some would say maybe it's a little bit daft throwing him in the deep end against Rangers today after the season he's had with injuries, but you know what? It's just going to have to be done. Uh, Giacomacus has been on great form. I know Kyogo has been great as well this over the course of the season, but I, I'm going to go with, with Giacomacus to start the game. Abad and Haxa is the wingers I'm going for as well. I don't know if I've actually played that combination all that often. Usually it's Jota and Haxa or um, Garnacho and Abada, but no, I've gone Haxa and Abada just to see what it's like. And you know what? I think we could do a job, and then everything else is pretty standard stuff. It's what you'd expect with the, the rest of the team. But the big changes, the big calls have been made. Made, and it's time to take on Rangers here at Celtic Park. We pumped them the last time at Celtic Park, but we've not had any luck since. We've not beat them since. Giovanni van Bronckhurst is still in a job, for fuck's sake. And we've probably allowed that to happen by giving them some big results against us. Because let's be real, they're not had a great season. They're for, do you know what? They are, this is the thing, right? We're going about, we're seven points clear of them. And I should have, I'll show you this right now. Look at the, obviously they had a, look at their form right now. 3 0 loss to Hibs not long ago. Uh, then obviously knocked out Europa League. 3 2 loss to Motherwell. And a 3 1 loss to St. Mirren. They could have made a title race out of this. They could have been about level in points with how bad we've been recently. But they've been even worse recently. Now look at our form. Three draws, a win, and a loss in our last five. We've not been good. Um, the European football has been catching up with us. But they've just been as bad. They've got one more win 
Um, but one more loss as well. So Ryan Jack's playing at right back. Did I see that right? Oh, we should be having a field day here, Axa. Tear him apart, please. I, I just want to have a look at the team again. McLaughlin, Jack, Goldson, Davies, Yelmaz, Lindstrom, Kamara. Wow. Jack at right back. We need to abuse that. We should be abusing that left hand side. I'm going to say focus play down the left because Ryan Jack at right back. That gives me a good feeling. It really does give me a good feeling. Now, is the highlights on? No, oh my god, they're not. Key highlights. Christ almighty. Just about never had highlights on for this, boys. That would have been an absolute disaster. Corner Rangers. Medeiros swings it in. Cleared by us. Maybe not the best clearance in the world right enough. Goldson gives it to Lundstrom. Yilmaz. Kamara, why are they seeing so much of the ball? Why are we letting that happen? Taylor has had a nightmare there. He's tried to curl for that. Now, it wasn't an, an awful effort, but if they want to keep hitting them like that, we'll let them do it. Moy. To Anzebi. Header just goes over the bar. Like, if we win today, we have won the league. Like, that's it. It's all over. There's no doubt about it. If Rangers win today, though, it blows the conversation wide open. And I really don't want to have to have that test right until the end of the season when we, we are trying to maybe win the Europa League as well. You know, if it, we weren't in the Europa League, fair enough, bring on a challenge for me. But I'd, I'd like to be able to rotate. I'd like to be able to play certain players. So a win today is paramount. Haksabanovic. He's running down that left-hand side. Ryan Jack is nowhere to be seen, by the way. Hacks a slips it in for Giacomakis. And there you go. It's 1-0 Celtic around the 40th minute. Hacks a Banovic just pouring it down that left wing. And he wasn't greedy. He wasn't selfish. He looks up. He sees Giacomakis. And look at Ryan Jack. He has no idea what to do. A new focus and play down the left. Let's took his time. Let's took his time. But nonetheless... We're 1-0 up. What looks as though it's got to be the score heading into half time as well. We're in a good position. There we go. Brilliant. Haksabanovic with another assist as well is exactly what you want to see. Um, no, I don't want to say there's no pressure. There definitely is pressure. But I've got to start the second half with the same team for now. Because why not? But I'm happy with that first half. I know Rangers had a couple of chances, but nothing worrying. We just need to be wary of them. Uh, here's Rangers now on the ball. I feel like more highlights have went their way, but they've not been threatening really at all, whereas our couple have been... Ah, oh, Johnston, you plonker. Penalty to Rangers, the famous saying, as we all know. Morello steps up at Celtic Park. Will he score? Come on! Yes, Lovakovic! Morello's having another derby nightmare. Look, he's reading... <laughs> still can't score against us. Love that. 1 0 still. Morelos misses a penalty. That needs to give us a kick up the arse because we, yeah, although we're winning, we, we, we probably could be a lot better. Rangers seeing a lot more of the ball, it seems, when we go highlight to highlight. Hacks intercepts really well done to Anzebi. Can we play out from the back? We're going down this left hand side again. Taylor, Haxa, O'Reilly. I'm looking for that run. I'm looking for Haxa just to pelt it down past Ryan Jack, staying on side. There it is. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Haksabanovic gets past Ryan Jack. Who has a nightmare and Giacomakis again. 2-0. Haksabanovic linking up with Giacomakis. Is that the new in thing here at Celtic? Play the song. Giacomakis comes for Greece. But look at this. He sends Ryan Jack on his arse. Look at that. Puff. Hasn't got a chance and hacks his ball. It's a nightmare from John McLaughlin as well, but... We're 2-0 up, so I'm hardly complaining. And it's been a great performance for both Giacomakis and uh, Hank Sabanovic. So I'm going to make some subs for the boys that are they're looking a little bit tired. So Hitati's going to come on. I'm going to bring on uh, Alejandro Garnacho on the right-hand side. Moy's looking a little bit tired. I'm going to bring on Enes Unal to sit in behind there. And then we've got two subs left. We've got a couple of players on yellow cards as well. So we just need to be a little bit careful. Uh, I've got two subs left in the game. And I would like to probably get a couple more players on that probably deserve more of a chance. But we're turning it up. We're in a good position. And the league title is effectively won from this point out, I would say. Um, I mean, to lose a 10-point lead with six games to play would be unheard of. Garnacho, can he finish it off for us? He can! That's a brilliant finish from Alejandro Garnacho, who gets his say on Derby Day as Ian Crocker would put it. That's a tremendous finish. It's a good pass from Alistair Johnson as well here. Look at this. She sees the run, picks him out, and look at this. Just with ease, putting it into the side netting. That's a top-tier finish from the from the young Spaniard. 
I've got a couple more subs to make, so let's make a couple. Like, Ax Ibanovic just had a cracker of a game, but let's get Jota on the left-hand side. And Alistair Johnson is absolutely knackered, so I'm going to bring on Carlos Starfield, and I'm going to move two Anzebi over to the right-back position. And that'll do us to finish off the game. I mean, 3-0 up against their arch-rivals. Uh, Morelos has had a stinker. It couldn't go much better, could it? Jota swings it in. Can we add one more, maybe, in this doing of Rangers? They're trying to just get it up the park. It's only going to go as far as Taylor. Hitati does so well there to go in and take that from our field. Here's Vickers. Let's just play one long pass. Carnacho, that's brilliant. Jota, he's hot the bar. Oh, I thought he added it. I thought he added a fourth. That was so, so unlucky. There's been a lot of yellows in this game, by the way. It's been a dirty derby, this, but I think that will about do it. And it does. It is full time. It's Celtic 3. Rangers nil, and effectively, I think the league title could be ours. Um, not officially, it's not mathematically done yet, but, I mean, it would take a long, long shot for Rangers to recover 10 points in the remaining six games. Surely, we are champions. Well, that's left us in a very good place, uh, heading into the last game before the split. We have Motherwell at home. We should be winning. You'd imagine we'd win. Our last game against Motherwell, I think we, we won, yet yeah, we won 2-0 at Firth Park. So we should be beating them at Celtic Park, and that would take us into a nice position as we head into the split. But before then, we've got three huge games, which is going to be hard to manage our players for, because like, we've got Rain on the Wednesday, Rangers on the Saturday, once again Rain on the Wednesday following. The only good thing about Rain just now is uh, they are missing one... P I don't even think it matters. They're missing, like, a backup keeper. So, no, there's no good things. We just need to be careful heading into this. But I'm excited. I want us to go and win this Europa League. And this is the best possible chance we've got. The draws were so good to us. Um, I don't want to let this slip. Joe Hart's not very happy uh, about the playing time. Obviously, Lovakovic coming in, taking his place. And I love Joe. I really do. I, I love Joe with all my heart. And I, and I don't want him to be upset. I'm not stuffed enough to because I'm a first choice keeper. Uh, I need you to ensure that changes. Uh, listen. Listen. I don't I don't know. I, I don't want to lose Joe. I don't. I, I, he's up for a loan. I don't really want to loan Joe, and, uh, Joe Hart out either. I, I like having him as the backup option. I think it's good. But to keep him happy, you know, maybe we'll loan him out for a while. I don't know who's going to take him on loan. Let's see. Spartak Moscow. They're paying a good bit of his wages as well. Okay. Right, well, maybe maybe Joe can go to Spartak for a bit. I don't believe it. Vickers has got injured right before these games. Oh, my God. Do we let, we're going, I'm not going to put him through injections. I'm not even going to chance it. We won't have him for Ren. Okay. I, okay. Oh, Joe Hart wants to... All right. Hart's back. My God. Got to let me breathe for a minute. Oh, my God. Right. So, Joe is, Joe is not going to extend his contract with us which is up at the end of next season. So he's got to be loaned out to Spartak for the next however long, um, and then he basically is going to be off. Wow. Okay, that's a... I didn't expect that bombshell this episode. My Joe. So this is the uh, the situation for the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We're obviously taking on Ren Arsenal, Feyenoord. I'm going to predict Arsenal will win. United and Tottenham... Lazio and Roma, it could be any of the sides. I, I really couldn't put a prediction on who's gonna who's gonna win that. But in terms of who we'll play in the next round, as we know, uh, it, 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 I think it favours us Lazio or Roma rather than one of the English sides because they're probably guaranteed an English side um, in, in the other game. And I kind of like the fact that we've got Lazio or Roma. I must admit. So that's the one we need to keep an eye on throughout the the the, the, the kind of majority of these games. Um, Jack Amakis, the man on form who's not registered for European football, is now coming back to bite me. Vickers being injured and Starfield, not, you know, the, the, the European registration has just bit me in the arse from the get-go, hasn't it? That was stupid of me. But I'm just going to select my team, we're going to get into this game, and we need another good home, like Braga, we need a good home result. The importance of a result at Celtic Park is huge because we've seen how touch and go it can be with the away games. It's nice to have a cushion. These are the teams that I've... That, that's what I've went for. A couple of changes from the, the game, of course, against Rangers. But uh, here's the team for Wren. A good side. And I've got here for a reason. They've got as far as us because they've got a good team. Steve Mandanda. I can't... 
I kind of believe he's still living. It actually frightens me how long he's been about because I was about, I swear, like, he was one of the first ever players I remembered. Hamari Traore, Joe Roden, Joe Roden, wow. Arthur uh, Tiati or Tiat, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Berger Mealing, of course, linked with Celtic before in the past. Uh, Santa Maria, Burijod, uh, uh, Maya Terrier, Amingwiri, a, a friend of ours on this channel, a former Celtic hero, and Callum Window is the team that they're going with. They've obviously got the advantage of depth on the bench as well whereas we don't uh, we don't want to be stretched too much uh, in terms of how much football we've got to play over the next few days and there's possibilities of extra times in the cup as well but a typical 4-2-3-1 for us and imagine for them they'll be 4-3-3 it looked like a 4-3-3 I might be wrong no I was very wrong it's a 4-1-4-1 almost uh, I guess you could you know you could Four three three up a wee bit if you bring the wingers forward. But aye, let's go. Let's get into this. We need a big result at Celtic Park. I would love us to have that same cushion that we had for the Braga game because the Braga game was difficult away from home. It was a free all in the end. They really did bring the game to to us. So we don't want that to happen. Here's Amin Guiri, uh, who has took a shot by the way, and it wasn't a bad one. And Levakovic forced to make a big, big save. Uh, Amin Guiri, of course, in, in past FMs has been playing for us. I've signed him numerous times for Celtic. He's been very, very good. But uh, not here this time. Kyogo leading the line today. I've went with him uh, in the absence of the unregistered Georgia Shakamakis. But uh, aye, nil now. 20 minutes into the game. I would have liked a, a goal kind of earlier on in the game than this. Um, for us, not for them. But so far, it doesn't look as though there's been too much created. More on Ren's side than ours, if anything. Um, but we need to try and wake up a little bit. Here's two Anzebe. Starfield, no Cameron Carter Vickers. A big miss for us in this game. Injured right before kickoff, basically. Here's Jota. Can we maybe find an opener here? Jota dribbles it into the opposition. That was a whole lot of nothing. Was there, is there going to, is something going to come from this? O'Reilly, here's Hacks. Uh, shoots from range, by the way. Took that down with his chest. Huts it on the volley, or the half volley. And that was not a bad effort from Sead Haksabanovic, by the way. I would have lost it. Lost it if that went in. Sadly, it doesn't. Here's Aaron Moy. Swings it. Starfelt's there. Hits the roof of the net. It's not quite enough for us. But we are starting to warm up a little bit before half time. One minute added and one minute gone. Right, okay, I was hoping, I was hoping that we'd maybe have a goal by now, I don't really know what to say, we've got to dig in, we've got to give a little bit more, Jota's on a yellow by the way, that's giving me a bit of fear, Um, we need to dig a little bit deeper, we we can't end this game on a 0-0, a um, and, and obviously I don't want to be dangling on the edge of defeat either, you know, I don't want to offer us the, the opportunity of, of Ren getting a good result, McGregor sends it for Kyogo, come on wee man, that is a beautiful finish, come on, through and go one on one, and FM that lets you down far too much, but just there, Kyogo shows how good a player he is, McGregor though, what a pass, to pick him out, and the run is brilliant, and I was, I just thought it was going to hit it right at Mandanda, but that is a tidy, tidy, tidy finish, and we are up one now against Ren, we started cooking a little bit before half time, and we have took it right into the second half, can we find a second, Moy looking for a pinpoint pass now, it's headed out wide, Kyogo recovers, here's Jota, he could shoot by the way, he does, and it wasn't that far off, wasn't that far off at all there Jota, but Jota's looking knackered, he's on a yellow card, I think it's probably about time that we, we bring Liel Abada into the game. Haksabanovic is looking a little bit tired on that left-hand side as well. So I think I'm going to bring on Garnacho. And then finally, I'm going to bring on Burnaby because Taylor's looking like his legs are going a little bit as well. I think the next player to come off will be Aaron Moy. He's looking like he might be getting to the tired stage. Um, but we're going to try and keep him going for now through the last portion of the game. We really need another goal couple of players getting a little bit tired and, and recommend subs. Ren haven't created a chance in, in ages in this game. And that's annoying me because we should be taking advantage of that and trying to find more goals. But we're not doing that. Uh, Rio Hatati is going to come on at the attacking midfield. And then I don't really know what other change to really make. Cameron Carter Vickers could come on for two and Zebi. I'm not bringing on Forrest and, and any sooner I'll, I'm not taking off Kyogo. He's been good so the Vickers change doesn't make much sense. It just saves us some legs for the weekend and two Anzebi. But this has got 
every chance of Rain finding a goal in it, and that's scaring me. Terry is a good player. Here's Jeremy Doku, who's another good player. This is a good side that Rain have got. I don't want to underestimate them for the away leg. Hatati Kyogo's away again. One on one again. Go on. He took it out, but that is beautiful. <laughs> that is one of the great Celtic Park European goals, by the way. That is stupendous. Abada wins the ball in a really good position. Hatati is the one that finds the pass. But look at this. I thought he was going to shoot. Does he buggery? He sends Mandanda to the floor and then he puts it in the back of the net with ease outrageous, outrageous from Kyogo, and that's the kind of cushion that we needed, I would love one more if it is possible, but a 2-0 cushion will do me heading away to France, but 3 would be nice, I'm never going to knock back 3, let's go for that if we can boys, Cameron Carter, Vickers, Starfield, I don't want us to play it around the back like this, just get it up the park Dominic, get it up the park, Vickers sees Burnaby out wide, who's on a book in as well, Johnston, come on boys, here's Ali Johnston, can we get something more? One more would be brilliant. Hitati. Garnacho for Kyogo's a hat trick. Yes. Come on. That is that is unbelievable. A second half hat trick. A second half hat trick for Kyogo Farashi in the Europa League quarterfinals is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, by the way. That is a all-time Celtic Park performance right there. That's up there with the very, very best. Oh, come on. Can we make it four? I imagine we made it four. There is one minute left in the clock. If we're up 4-0, we're through. We're, we're absolutely through. I'm, I'm not scared to say it, but it's not four yet. So we'll wait and see what happens. It's sent all the way back to Levakovic. There's about 30 seconds left in the clock. Rain have collapsed in the second half. Here's Alistair Johnston, who's going to try and find it. Oh, is that a penalty, maybe? No, no, it's not. No, don't concede. Don't concede. Keep the free... Oh, Jesus, we're going to lose the free goal cushion, aren't we? Terrier. Good save, Dominic. I'll take it. Free now. I'll absolutely take it. Blow the whistle, ref. Come on, you can't. Blow it. Blow it. Toku sends it in, Levakovic gathers, surely the referee blows, he does, it's a 3 0 win in the first leg, Kyogo Furahashi with a second half Europa League quarter final hat trick, that's got to be like some sort of record or something, wow, here's the results, by the way, what a night in the Europa League, what a night for Europa League football, 4 goals, 3 goals, 9 goals, 5 goals, 3-1 Arsenal win over Feyenoord. It looks as though that could be favourable for them. Lazio and Roma. What a game of football, but still very much in the balance. Amubli scoring five. Amubli? Amubli? Four, five, four goals for him and a 5-4 win. So Lazio right now going through and United winning 4-1 against Tottenham. And uh, wow, 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 wow. I cannot quite believe that that's the way we end this episode. So that's great. Uh, next episode, we'll see if we can make it through to the semi-finals of the Europa League and the final of the Scottish Cup. So I'll see you then.